Hello, welcome to our new Evil Bits show where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trending newsworthy stories of the day. Today, we're talking about Microsoft, the NFL, Apple, and more. Let's get going. On Monday, Microsoft announced big news for the live streaming industry. Mixer will shut down July 22nd and a new partnership with their streamers will begin with Facebook Gaming. The purchase of the platform by Microsoft in 2016 was a good effort to cash in on the live streaming industry. And ironically, the shutdown comes one year after the Mixer signed Ninja to a $20 million contract. Now streaming talent who were signed exclusively with Mixer are free to sign deals wherever they please. Mom and Dad, do you still think I played too many video games? Fans of NFL's Hard Knocks can rejoice as HBO and the league signed on for an additional four years. NFL Film Senior Executive Ross Kedever said to be able to announce this extension as we embark on an unprecedented two-team series this summer brings us incredible pride and only heightens our excitement for the return of football. Both LA teams, the Rams and the Chargers, will be featured and viewers should expect the same raw footage that has made the show so popular. How can we forget J.J. Watt talking extensively about fancy airplane carpet? This carpet costs 100 grand. Apple just held its annual Worldwide Developers Conference and unveiled three big updates. One of the big reveals was iOS 14, which includes a fresh new home screen, design, and new widgets. The tech giant's computers will no longer be powered by Intel and will be replaced by ARM-based chips, which will enable Apple's apps to work across all of its devices. The last big update is macOS Big Sur, which gets a drastic new design that is more similar to that of the iPhone or iPad. New reports show existing home sales in the U.S. dipped to an almost 10-year low. This isn't a huge surprise, and many market experts were expecting it following the COVID shutdown. The National Association of Realtors released stats showing existing home sales were down 9.7%, which is the lowest since the fall of 2010. In case you were wondering, existing homes in comparison to a new home build make up 90% of all housing sales. Although mortgage rates are currently low, the dip in home sales is likely tied to the 20 million Americans that are currently unemployed due to COVID. It looks like my dreams might come true as Michael Keaton is in talks to reprise his role as Batman in DC Comics' upcoming Flash movie. Gentlemen, let's broaden our minds. According to The Hollywood Reporter, this will not be a one-off cameo or brief appearance, but more of a recurring role as an elder Bruce Wayne or Batman. Comparisons have already been made to the way Nick Fury has a leadership and mentor role within the Marvel Universe. If everything comes together, it will have been 30 years since Keaton protected Gotham in Tim Burton's classic title, Batman, and its sequel, Batman Returns. If you're planning a trip to Vegas soon, make sure and wear a mask into one of the Caesars Entertainment properties. A new promotion encouraging guests to wear a mask will reward lucky gamblers with $20 at the Flamingo, the Link, Harris, Caesars Palace, and Paris. This past weekend, a total of 375 guests were given $7,500, of which I'm certain they promptly lost on one hand of blackjack. Make sure to sign up for the Caesars Rewards Program as it's a requirement for eligibility. That's a wrap. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thank you for turning in Devil Bits. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.